What is up, wrestling fans? Kayfabe Chronicles with your host, JP, coming to you with a little minor rant. Um, it was announced this past Monday Night Raw during the Finn Balor Bray Wyatt segment. No idea why that feud is still going. Um, it's actually a really chilling promo uh, in regards to Bray Wyatt, but he pretty much told Finn Balor that, you know, Sister Abigail is alive and she wants to meet you. Um, so yeah, so that's completely just sparked over the entire social media wrestling uh, community of, you know, like, oh, Sister Abigail's coming. Who's going to be Sister Abigail? Uh, and I'm going to talk to you guys about how I feel the WWE should book this. Um, once again, it's just my opinion. You know, you guys all say what you guys think, but, uh, you know, like, uh, this this is this is what I feel that I would like and kind of what some of the other fans would like because I know we're all usually on kind of on the same wavelength. Um, so, like, right off the bat, I've been really interested with this whole Sister Abigail thing for years, ever since Bray Wyatt came in. He's always been talking about Sister Abigail. And then there was the entire premise of, like, you know, who it could possibly be. There was names always being thrown around. And then, of course, if you guys know, during the Randy Orton feud uh, prior to WrestleMania... Uh, you know, Randy Orton went in and burnt down the Wyatt Complex, and then he found out that Sister Abigail's actually been dead, and all this other weird crap, and and now she's apparently alive. I don't know. Okay. So, some of the names that are getting thrown around right off the bat is uh, someone like Paige. Um, Paige, as everyone knows, has been kind of out of action for the better part of the year uh, due to an injury, and she wellness policy stuff um, she has come back to the performance center and has been training for her return so that's automatically why people think that it could possibly be Paige uh, right off the bat I'm just saying that's a stupid idea don't go with that that is what the worst possible thing because the thing is Paige is Paige everyone knows who Paige is um, another personal another person that people are thinking could possibly be Bailey doing a heel turn no don't do Bailey. Like, you kind of get what I'm saying? Like, if they're going to actually bring in a Sister Abigail character, it shouldn't be someone that we already know. Like, Sister Abigail should be somebody brand new that not a lot of people know about. Like, possibly somebody on NXT. Uh, maybe one of the competitors in the May Young tournament. Uh, some of the names that got thrown around was Sarah Logan. Uh, Sarah Logan, those of you know, played kind of a crazy, crazy character in the indie scene, uh, Crazy Mary Dobson. So her character kind of fits it. Uh, Abby Lave's another one. I, I I don't see them doing that with Abby though. Like like they uh, she's a real big fan favorite. The crowd really loves her. So I, I think that that'd be kind of a waste there. Uh, if I was to single handedly pick anybody from like NXT or Performance Center, I'd probably go with someone like Sage Beckett. Uh, she's kind of a dark character to begin with already. Like like her indie stuff, she's pretty dark. Um, she looks just absolutely intimidating, uh, by all means. Like, she looks like someone that could just rip your face off and just feed it to you. Like, kind of like how Braun Strowman was. Like, you know, when Braun Strowman came in as part of the White family, no one knew who the hell he was. He was just some big dude with a beard, but it was like, like, whoa, like, look at that guy. Like, it automatically struck fear in, into your heart. And, and like I said, she's a very intimidating and very intimidating looking, looking force to be reckoned with, in my opinion. Uh, but ultimately, the way I think that they should go with this is not even have anybody do it. Have it be kind of like a split personality of Bray Wyatt. Um, like an idea I was kind of thinking of is that like you know Sister Abigail was was like a figure, like uh, like, like you know a leading figure in Bray Wyatt's childhood or something, and then she died. You know, uh, you know, died unexpectedly, and it, and that's kind of what messed Bray Wyatt up. So now he has kind of taken on her persona and said kind of like a Norman Bates psycho thing with his mom. Uh, Bray is a very good character actor. He's a very good, uh, like he's able to get his point across. And I think that he personally could play the male and female role between the two. Uh, I know people say, well, that's stupid. I have to do it. I know it's something you have to think about and it's something a little bit outside of the box. But right now, WWE needs something to do with Bray Wyatt. And I think him taking on the role of both is exactly what he needs to put his face back on the map. Because let's face it, like he's been doing nothing for this past year. Even more than a year. Oh yay, he held the championship for 
a little tiny bit, and then he lost to Randy Orton, and then that was it. That was that was really dumb. That that still pisses me off. Uh, but yeah, so like you know, so two options in my opinion. If you're gonna actually fill it with a female role, have it be someone that no one has ever really seen, nobody knows a lot about. Don't put somebody with any credibility in there. Uh, or have Bray Wyatt do both and pull off the whole psycho Norman Bates aspect, which I think would be great. I think that is the better way to go with this. But who knows? That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? How do you guys think WWE should handle Sister Abigail? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, crush that like button. Hit subscribe for more great videos. Follow us on Twitter using the new two name tags below. Check out that Facebook page, also listed in the description below. As usual, this is JP from KFABE Chronicles, and I'll see you guys next time.